Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you have understood the questions in the previous video. Now let us continue with the remaining questions. Next question. A businessman allows a discount of 10% on the market price. What percent above the cost price must he mark his goods to make a profit of 17%? Let us assume that the cost price is 100 rupees and market price is M. When he allows a discount of 10%, his sale price is equal to M into 100 minus 10 by 100, which is equal to 90M by 100. He wants to make a profit of 17%, and the cost price is 100 rupees, and profit percentage is 17%. Therefore, sale price is equal to 100 into 100 plus 17 by 100 that is 100 into 117 by 100 these both are equal 90 m by 100 is equal to 100 into 117 by 100 therefore m is equal to 100 into 117 by 90 which is equal to 130 rupees now percentage of market price above the cost price here cost price is 100 rupees and market price is 130 rupees. Therefore, percentage of market price above cost price is equal to 130 minus 100 by 100 into 100, which is equal to 30 percent. So our, our answer is option number 3. Next question. Some bricks are arranged in an area measuring 20 cubic meters. If the length, breadth and height of each brick is 20, 25 cm, 12.5 cm and 8 cm respectively, then in that pile the number of bricks are. This is a very simple question. First thing what we need to do is read the question carefully and see what is given in the question and what, what we are asked to do. In this question, the volume of the area is given as 20 cubic meters and the measurements of each brick are given as 25 centimeters, 12.5 centimeters and 8 centimeters respectively. Therefore the volume of each brick is given by L into B into H which is equal to 25 into 12.5 into 8 which is equal to 2500 cubic centimeters. And the volume of the total area which is already given in the problem is 20 cubic meters. Let us convert cubic meters into cubic centimeters. Each cubic meter is equal to 100 into 100 into 100 cubic centimeters. Therefore 20 cubic meters is equal to 20 into 100 into 100 into 100 cubic centimeters. Now the number of bricks in the pile is equal to volume of the area total area divided by volume of each brick. That means this divided by 2500 which comes to 8000. So the our answer is option number 2. Next question. Charging 30% above its production cost, a radio maker puts a label of Rs. 286 on a radio as its price. But at the time of selling it, he allows 10% discount on the label price. What will be his gain? Let the cost price of the radio be C and charging 30% above the production cost, his market price is 286. So if the cost price is C, market price becomes C into 130 by 100 which is given as 286. Therefore cost price C is equal to 286 into 100 by 130 which is equal to rupees 220. Now he wants to make a profit of uh, uh, no no he wants to give a discount of 10% on the label price. Therefore, selling price after allowing a discount of 
is equal to 286 into 100 minus 1 by 100 which is equal to rupees 257.40. Therefore the gain is selling price minus cost price which is equal to 257.4 minus 220 which is equal to 37.40. So our option, so our answer is option number 4. Next question, in an election a candidate who gets 84% of the votes is elected by a majority of 476 votes. What is the total number of votes hold? Again this is a very simple question. Let the total votes hold be V. Therefore the elected candidates votes is equal to V into 84 by 100 which is equal to 84 V by 100. When the elected candidate gets 84% of the votes, the other candidate gets 16% of the votes. Therefore, the difference which is nothing but majority is equal to 84V by 100 minus 16V by 100 which is given as 476. Therefore, 68V by 100 is equal to 476 and V is equal to 476 into 100 by 68 which is equal to 700. Therefore, our answer is option number 4. Next question, a man having height of 169 cm is standing near a pole. He casts a shadow of 130 cm long. What is the length of the pole if it gives a shadow of 420 cm long? Let us assume the length of pole is 3 cm. The ratio of actual length and shadow of man is 169 is to 130. Similarly, the ratio of actual length and shadow length of the pole is P is to 420 cm. These two ratios are equal. Therefore, 169 by 130 is equal to P by 420. Therefore, P is equal to 169 into 420 by 130. Therefore, length of the pole is equal to 546 cm. So our answer is option number 4. Next question, rupees 555 was to be divided among, among A, B and C in the ratio of 1 by 4 is to 1 by 5 is to 1 by 6. But by mistake it was divided in the ratio of 4 is to 5 is to 6. The amount in excess received by C was, which is the correct ratio to be distributed to be divided is 1 by 4 is to 1 by 5 is to 1 by 6 which is nothing but 15 by 60 is to 12 by 60 is to 10 by 60 which is equal to 15 is to 12 is to 10 then in this C share should be 10 by 37 into 555 which is equal to 150 rupees this is the actual amount which he has to receive but instead of that, by mistake it was divided in the ratio of 4 is to 5 is to 6. So amount received actually amount actually received by C is equal to 6 by 15 into 555, which is equal to 222 rupees. That means he received 222 rupees, but he actually has to receive 150 rupees. So excess amount received by C is equal to 222 minus 150 which is equal to rupees 72. So our answer is option number 1. Next question. The average of 50 numbers is 38. If two numbers namely 45 and 55 are discarded, the average of the remaining numbers is. Again this is a very simple question. The average of 50 numbers is given as 38. Therefore, total of 50 numbers is equal to 50 into 38, which is equal to 1900. So, out of 50 numbers, two numbers are discarded, which are 45 and 55. So, after discarding two numbers, the total becomes 1900 minus 45 plus 55, which is equal to 1800. Therefore, average of remaining numbers 
is equal to 1800 by 48 which is equal to 37.5 so our answer is option number 1 next question in what term will rupees 8000 at 3 percent per annum produce the same interest as rupees 6000 does in 5 years at 4 percent simple interest this is a simple interest problem uh, inter there, there are two cases in this in the first thing is rupees 8000 at 3 percent uh, interest rate and in the second case Principal amount is 6000 rupees and the term is 5 years and the rate of interest is 4. But in both the cases, the interest produced is same. Okay, let us take the second case. Interest on 6000 rupees at 4% per annum in 5 years is equal to PTR by 100 which is equal to 6000 into 5 into 4 by 100 which is nothing but rupees 1200. So this is the interest produced on 6000 rupees at 4% for 5 years. In the next case, in the first case, it is given that P is equal to 8000 rupees and rate of interest R is equal to 3 and interest is the same which is 1200 rupees. Now we have to find out the term this is T. The formula is PTR by 100, interest is equal to PTR by 100 which is 1200 is equal to 8000 into T into 3 by 100 therefore T is equal to 1200 into 100 by 8000 into 3 which is equal to 5 years. So our answer is option number 1. Next question, the reciprocal of X plus 1 by X is Again, this is a very simple question. Just we have to simplify the equation. x plus 1 by x is equal to x square plus 1 by x. x is the LCM. So it becomes x square plus 1 by x. Which reciprocal is nothing but x by x square plus 1. Therefore, our answer is option number 1. Next question. What is the value of 2.75 into 2.75 into 2.75 minus 2.25 into 2.25 into 2.25 by 2.75 into 2.75 plus 2.75 into 2.25 plus 2.25 into 2.25 okay let us assume that a is equal to 2.75 and b is equal to 2.25 so the given equation is in the form of a aq minus bq by a square plus ab plus b square. We all know that aq minus bq is equal to a minus b into a square plus ab plus b square. So the given equation aq minus bq by a square plus ab plus b square is equal to a minus b into a square plus ab plus b square by a square plus ab plus b square and these two gets cancelled and this equation is equal to a minus b. Now let us substitute the values of a and b. So the given equation is equal to a minus b which is equal to 2.75 minus 2.25 which is equal to 0 0.5 which is nothing but 1 by 2. So our Answer is option number 4. Okay friends, let's continue with the remaining questions in the next part of the series. Thank you for watching the video. Feel free to write to us for, for any further queries at prmrao at the rate gmail.com.